There are many smart ways that will help you level up fast in Ghost Recon Breakpoint so you can earn new skill points and I will share them all in this video including a location that you can do over and over again for some really nice extra XP. So let's get into it, would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it really helps the channel out and let's go. Let's start with the most important skill in the game to get easy XP, the Recon Mastery. So obviously you first want to get the passive XP upgrade and then a point in the night vision to be able to go to the recon section. And here you can easily unlock the recon mastery perk. You first have to equip it as a perk in your inventory before it applies. But after you've done that you simply get XP by tagging enemies with your drone. And this is really insane because it's almost the same amount of XP that you get for killing an enemy with your gun. So this basically means that you get double the amount of XP per enemy. So now just make it a habit to tag the enemies. Every camp you go to, use your drone and let the XP come in. And even if you are close by and you can already start the attack, you first want to get out your drone tag those enemies and get free experience points. I would even say tag them when they already see you. So find a safe place, get out your drone and when they are approaching you tag them and then start the fight. If you are playing in co-op then this can be great too. Let one of your buddies drive or fly the helicopter and you just sit in the passenger seat and from here you can use your drone. So just fly around and tag nearby enemies as long as you don't get too far from the vehicle. So now you just get free XP while your body is bringing you to the location. If you want to reset the location of your drone to where the vehicle is, just hit the drone button again to cancel it and then activate it again to have it close to where you are. Your teammates sadly do not get any XP from you tagging the enemies, so you kinda have to communicate who does the tactic and who drives, or you can just not tell them about this tactic and let them drive all the time. It's really up to you, but yeah, this is a very nice way to get extra XP, while otherwise you would just be waiting in a car. Also nice is that when you die or your whole team wipes after infiltrating a camp, you spawn outside of the camp, but all the enemies enemies respawn again and you can then mark them again. So get free XP again. So what you can do is basically tag all the enemies in a camp, then kill yourself, respawn next to the camp and tag everyone again. It's free easy XP without really doing anything. But before you do tactics like this, and I will share more ways to level up fast in a second. No, but before you do this, you want to make sure that you get the most XP per action. So per time you tag an enemy or kill an enemy. And there are some nice passive ways to enhance the amount of XP that you get. One easy one is at the bivouac. There's one in Air 1, so your home base at the campfire, but also across the whole map where you can go to the preparation section and then get the 10% XP bonus for 60 minutes. I would say make sure that that one is active at all times because you don't really need the other buffs if you are just casually going through the game. Your gear is another amazing way to get extra XP. On weapons you can find the plus 20% XP, so in total you can get plus 60% XP if you have a free weapons that have this stat. On gear you can find the 5% extra XP stat, so that in total gives you 25% extra XP and that does add up for sure. I mean of course use the weapons you like and the higher the gear score the higher the loot you get, but if you are solely focusing on leveling up fast, getting new skill points, then wearing the equipment with the bonuses is really really nice. Like I never really use my pistol for example and just have one that has the 20% XP bonus because it does really help. You can also make a loadout with all your gear that has the XP bonuses and then one with the highest gear score for example and then simply switch between them so that you use your XP gear when using your drone and focusing on melee attacks for example and then when you want to just fight and have the best gear equipment with, then you go to the highest gear score loadout. And by the way, shout out to YouTuber It's Jordan Dust because he noted how he uses his loadouts for stuff like this. So then I applied it for the XP farm and it really really works so I will leave a link to his channel in the video description. So yes, have the passive XP bonuses from the bivouac, from your gear, from the skills and then focus on the melee attacks because you namely get the most XP in breakpoints for killing enemies from close by. Like it's almost double the amount that you get from killing someone with a gun so I would say always focus on the melee attack when possible. 
when you see a few people just walking close to each other, just go in and kill them with your knife one by one. A pro tip is to use the standard knife and not the carambit one, because while the animations for that one might be cooler, they do take longer to finish, and then the enemies can just keep shooting. There is a chance you survive this, but there are multiple ways to make you even more tanky for this tactic, so you stay alive while you kill everyone with CQC. The adrenaline perk is really key here, you find it over here in the skill tree in the assault section. This namely gives you health back per melee kill, so after you killed someone and run to the other enemies, you get health back in the process. I also use the feel no pain perk, this makes it so that you cannot reach critical injury levels and gives you injury resistance as well, so you can continue to do this tactic with a lower chance that you will get injured. It really helps for larger groups and I actually found a nice spot on the map where a ton of enemies spawn over and over again and where you can just farm them with this melee tactic to get a ton of XP. It's over here on the map so if you haven't gone there yet, then just grab a helicopter near Air 1 and go to this location. You can easily unlock a bivouac by flying close to it with your helicopter and then you will see the pop of notifications saying that you discovered it. Then just land here, grab your drone and you will see that there are multiple enemies walking on this road. Tag them to already get some XP and then you just want to walk up to them and melee them one by one. Maybe there will be some vehicles passing by, then just focus on those gunners so they can shoot you while you overall just melee all the enemies. And then you should be able to take these enemies out. But some of the classes can help, like the assault class is nice because you get an extra health bar, but also you can get that with the medic class. If you just drop down your med kit and use it, you also get one extra health bar. I play the medic myself because I can then also revive myself if your ultimate is up. So if things go south, just simply revive yourself, get back on your feet with full health, and then you can melee again and get health back per melee kill. But also if you die, it doesn't really matter. You still have the XP and the enemies will have respawned. If you succeeded though, then you just want to fast travel away to a bivouac on the other side of the map and then fast travel back to this bivouac over here. Make sure you got the XP bonus if you don't have it yet and then you will see that the enemies on the road have respawned and they can just do this over and over again, rank up and get skill points in no time. Subscribe for way more Ghost Recon Breakpoint videos, I got more tips and tricks coming your way and you will already see them here on the screen if they are already up by the time you watch this. Totally like the video to support the channel and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye!